Welcome to a Reader's Notebook. Welcome to a Reader's Notebook. My name is Norman and I started Booktube back in 2019 with my German channel Notizhefte. I am blogging about book since 2013. On this channel I want to address English-speaking readers who are interested in German books from the 19th and 20th century. This period begins, roughly speaking, with the post-revolutionary Goethe and Wilhelm Meister's apprenticeship appeared 1795-96. It encompasses writers collectively labeled as Weimar classics opposed to early German Romanticism or Jena Romanticism as they are located in Jena, a town not far away from Weimar. During the 19th century Romanticism prevailed most branches of art in Germany. Important topics of Romanticism are the medieval times, later on travel and nature, especially forests. Subsequently, literary realism emerged during the second half of the 19th century. We may recall authors such as Theodor Fontane, Gustav Freitag, Adalbert Stifter or Theodor Storm. At the turn of the century, literary modernism emerged and the authors involved broke with traditional ways of writing. These authors were deeply influenced by the ideas of Friedrich Nietzsche and Sigmund Freud. Literary expressionism took place in the first 30 years of the 20th century. Then we have burned books, murdered authors and literature in exile during the Nazi period. Immediately after the war, rubble literature, Trümmer literature, was produced until 1915 and followed by post-war literature linked to the group 47 in the western part of Germany with members such as Heinrich Böll, Martin Walser or Günter Grass. Whereas in the GDR from 1949 to 1990, authors such as Johannes R. Becher, Bertolt Brecht, Sarah Kirsch, Anna Segers and Christa Wolf were prominent. Other novelists from the 20th century include Siegfried Lenz, Hans Magnus Enzensberger, Martin Mosebach, Sibylle Levitscharow, Hertha Müller and writers with a migrant background such as Vladimir Kamina or Rafik Shami. Furthermore, they are authors with a very wide lifespan who cannot be attributed to a single period or movement such as Gerhard Hauptmann or Thomas Mann. Thus, there is a lot to talk about on this channel and I am looking forward to share some of my thoughts as a passionate reader on some of these authors, on some of their books and also on selected literary periods. I hope that you will be interested and subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Bye.